Welcome to part three, 3.6 swapping the Turbo X. Not a lot of talking, let's build this motor. So essentially what the machine shop did was set all of the bearing clearances for the rods and the crank. They polished the crank and cleaned the block out real well. When you're taking off these main caps, you don't have to worry about their orientation or losing them because they're marked. As you can see, it says they're one, obviously two, three, four, and it has an arrow showing you which way it goes straight. Um, these bolts are also torque to yield. I wipe some on the side of the thrust washer as well. I'm gonna be honest, I've been watching this guy for every motor that I put together. I never remember the torque specs, I just go back to his video. I'm gonna have to link this guy's video in the description. In the comments, at the time that this video is being shot, there's no LY7 pistons readily available on the shelf that are forged. So at the moment, I'm reusing stock pistons. I have something being created. And when I get them back, then we can talk about it further. Yeah. 
These pistons have dots on them, so these are meant to point to the front. So this is cylinder one. These are meant to point. I wanted to buy one of those ring tools that was specific to this bore. They seem so much easier. This is just um, a Amazon one. It was like ten bucks. When you're putting these pistons in, after you get them set like so, you want to knock this thing so it's flat. I know if you watch a lot of YouTube videos, you see a guy strike it real fast and it'll go in. And that's cool and all, but I've done that before and this thing wasn't sitting correctly and I broke the top ring. So I just go easy, give it a couple hits, knock around. With a couple of hits and point made, it didn't seat correctly. Now, some people like to just snug them down and then go back and torque all them down at once. I don't do that because I like to spin the motor after each rod that I put on just to make sure nothing is binding and everything is good. What I'll do now is go cylinder to cylinder, rod cap to rod cap, 
Just the purified of torque. All right. So all of the bottom end mains and rods are torqued. We spin the motor. Make sure there's no hangups. Everything feels good. Flip it over. We just verify all of the dots are facing forward. And now we're ready to put the heads on this thing. So I had the lifters and rockers soaking in oil. Even though I've run these cams before, I'm still gonna apply a little bit of assembly lube. If you don't know, these are also the mace cams. ARP 625 custom made head studs. You can get the kit for this motor from GH Works. So if you're using ARP head studs, they want you to torque them down in three stages. Um, uh, most of them have their own, most of them have their own specs. Um, I think they're around 75 to 80. I don't know two people that run the same torque on ARP head studs. So what I would say is just go with what they recommend. And if you want to try to experiment from there, that's on you.
notice I have all of the cam flats facing upwards when I install the cams. The reason for that is when the cam flats are up, the valves are disengaged. So when I spin the motor, since the cam flat is up, there will be no interference. What I do at this point usually, spin the motor and just hold my hand over the spark plug boot holes and I'll just feel for compression. It's, you'll feel it strong. It'll blow your hand off or suck your hand in. Um, and that's just me verifying that everything I did is good. Um, so to wrap this one up, I was going to install a timing chain on this motor. Um, but what I've come to realize is that a lot of people are intimidated by doing a chains on this motor. I was as well when I first bought the car. Um, so I'm going to do that in a separate video. Um, so if you made it this far, I really appreciate you guys. We're about 270 or so subs away from a thousand subscribers. You know, that's a goal of mine. So if you haven't subscribed and you watch this far, please hit that subscribe button, like comment, comment to L comment to dot. I don't care. Comment something. The engagement drives the video. So thanks so much guys to the next one. Thank you.